Hey everybody, we are teaching Gravity Sketch, and this time we're going to look at how to move things with precision using Smart Move. Now, Smart Move, or Shameless Mayhem, uh, is how we keep things moving perfectly in line. I can grab an object and move it around and use the trigger to place duplicates of that object. Depending on how much practice I've had, I may or may not get them lining up. I may or may not have them evenly spaced. Some might be a little closer or farther apart. Some might be higher or lower. So depending on how I need to create these duplicates, Smart Move helps us move and place these with precision. So I'm gonna go back to my original one here. Now, normally, we just need to intersect our grabbing sphere with the object. It turns red, and we grab it and move it around. For precision, I'm going to activate something called Smart Move. Now, in our main menu, in the settings, the little gears, the first section is our main Gravity Sketch settings. In these sections, we have this thing here called Smart Move. Normally, Smart Move is off, so you can just grab things and move them around. I'm going to activate the first level of Smart Move. There are two levels, not including off. Level one, here's how it's going to work. When I move and intersect, I can grab as normal. But with Smart Move, I'm going to bring my other hand into it. Now, you don't need to trigger, you don't need to grab, but it's all about stacking them on top of each other like that. Or if one's pointing, we'll have the other one pointing the same way. When I'm intersecting the object, I haven't grabbed yet. When this guy comes into play, See how it adds my axis arrows? And it adds that green line showing I'm lining up with the vertical axis. I'm going to move these closer. Now I'm going to go horizontal, get in line. See how I've got the red axis showing up as soon as I get in line? If I go this way, we'll get the blue axis. But it's coming right at the camera so you can barely see it. But once that axis shows up, I don't grab with this hand, but I'm going to grab with my dominant hand. See how the axis stays? So now, no matter how I move my hand, my object stays on that axis. I don't even need to have this up anymore. So now, up and down axis, grab, and it's stuck to the up and down axis. So first level of smart move, we can keep it moving in a perfect line. Now, if I grab on an axis and trigger, so I've got one. Now, if I trigger again, it adds these little black dots. See those? Those are perfect, accurate spacing. So now I can be sure all of them line up exactly and are the exact same distance apart. Let's try this again. We're going to be a little bit farther so we can try to see those black dots. I'm going to intersect one get the axis, grab and click, click. Now see these little dots. It'll even stick to the dot, snap to the dot, snap, snap. So I can make sure that they're evenly spaced, snap, snap, oops. That's how we're going to get things lining up and be evenly spaced. Look for those little black dots and it should snap when it's in position. So with all these guys, it is locked to your main axis, up, down, left, right, in and out. So you can see they're always going to be perfectly perpendicular to each other. The second level of smart move is how we're going to take this guy, but do it at any angle we want. So here we go, back to the menu, smart move, crank it all the way up. Third level or second level smart move if you don't count zero. So now, same as before, I can line up on an axis and it will give me that axis. But with second level smart move, I can come in at any direction. And as long as this lines up, you can see how it now adds a gray axis. Green if it's up and down, gray if you're off by a little bit. 
But now I can go to that gray axis, grab and click, and now I'm coming off at a completely different angle. Now I'm gonna go back to that original middle one, come at a completely different angle, grab, and we're now going off at a completely different angle. Now I'll grab one and we'll come out at a, whoops, undo, come out at a different angle. So you can see it's not exactly the same as all the others. So whatever direction you want, line up and get that gray axis. Now, whoops, now we can grab and it's gonna be stuck to that axis. Smart move. When we're done with that, we can just turn it off. Likewise, if you don't use your other hand, it still counts as a regular grab and move. It's only smart move when you stack your hands up. But that's going to help you get a lot more precision, a lot more repetition for the different designs you're trying to make. I hope this helps and inspires you. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions about this or if you have trouble with it. We do these all the time here at youtube.com slash shameless mayhem. So go ahead and subscribe. Let us know what you think. Feel free to link in any of your own creations as well. We like to show off what we inspire. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time, everybody. Have fun with Gravity Sketch.